Yes, sir, bro. My man. <laughs> when they Yo. Shice passing me back yeah. was at the beginning of the interview. Shout, shout to Shice, man. Shout to Shice, brother. Push him, push him. Yeah. Piff, man. Purple City type shit, man. That's a fact. That's a fact. Bro, Listen, man. Live Talk on live on Zach TV One. Who the fuck do we have the honor of having in the building, man? Mr. Ruger Ruger, the head shooter, man. Damn. Talk to me nice. Hell, yeah. motherfucking real, man. Yes, yeah, sir. Hell, real, man. You know me and like probably like 98 percent other niggas in shop right grew up on you, right? That's love. That's we grew love. up on you, Duke the God, Shice, all y'all. You know what I'm saying? That's love. That's that. That's what's up, man. Like, did you have any idea how big your influence was gonna be on the world, on the on the urban culture? Uh, I actually didn't because I was in jail. So when Ken was uh branding me as an artist, I really didn't get it. I really didn't get a chance to see how big I was. I used to hear niggas coming from jail like, nigga, you ain't hit yourself on that new mixtape. I'm like, no, I ain't got it. I'm in jail, nigga. So I didn't really get a chance to see my fame and how big I was to the streets so I came home from jail, you feel me? Okay, okay, okay. How was it when you was locked up, motherfuckers was like, yo, hell, bro, I want to put you down with the set. I want to put you in dip set. What you mean? Like, like, how did that come about? How did that whole situation come about? You know what I'm saying? That you spitting over the phone on the album? Well, actually, uh, I was good friends with my nigga named Luca Brazzi. And we all traveled in the same circles. I knew Cam, but he didn't know me for rapping. So I had did a freestyle over... Uh, one of Cam's beats that he just did a song with uh, Beanie Siegel and uh, Memphis Bleak and Luke Albrazi paid for him and he went fucking nuts. He was like, yo, bring this nigga to the hell now. So he brought me to him and I've been with the nigga ever since. Baseline, everywhere he went, he took me with him, schooled me, told me the game. But when I told him I had to go to jail, he like, what? What the fuck? So you knew beforehand you had to? I knew, but I didn't want to tell him because I'm like, damn, if I tell this nigga I got to Gotta go turn myself in for a bit, he might not invest in me. Oh. You feel me? Right. Cause it was like, alright, well I take this nigga <laughs> to the studio, do some songs with him, and then I can't promote him. So I kinda kept that secret from him until I got the songs recorded. You know oh, what I'm saying? Shit. So okay. once I got the songs recorded, it was like, nigga, we got some fire now, like, you can't turn me down. So he was sitting in the studio one day telling him, like, yeah, I'm about to do this for you, I'm about to do that for you, ah, ah, and I kinda felt bad. So I'm like, damn, this nigga about to go crazy hard for me and I gotta go to jail. So that's when I told him, I'm like, yo, Cam, man, I got a case. I gotta go do one three. And he actually took it more easier than what I thought he was. He's like, nah, fuck that, nigga, go do that time. And when you come home, I'm gonna build you up and I'm gonna make you a star. Mm. And promise fulfilled. Damn. You feel me? So he could have covered me, he could have said, this nigga going to jail, took me off all the songs, right. found the new nigga, didn't have to include me, he kept his word, he kept me hot. While I was in jail, and when I came home, he came and got me from Clinton like a real nigga. You feel me? Clinton Max. Same way Shook came and got Pop. Right. Kim came and got a nigga from Clinton. Being, being, being. What was your mind state eat? Even into, you know what I'm saying, jail knowing I gotta do this bid, this two year bid. But when I get out, I'm set. Was you like my feet up? I'm a boss. I'm good. I mean, you had that. I had that certain feeling, but it was like, damn, everything that I worked for and all the pain that I put in. And I finally get to reap the benefits and it's being taken away from me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, I was there when Jewels first got his deal. I was there when Jim and everybody was about to get their deal. I was right there. So if I didn't go to jail, I would have been next up. So I'm watching everybody get their check, pop champagne. I know I'm next. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Right, right. But then I got to turn myself in. I'm like, fuck, man. So it kind of hurted my career by not being on the first book that sold out because I would have had a bigger look as an artist. But I'm the type of nigga that I don't live with regrets. I came home, I got to it, I built up a a, a, a legendary fan base. I ain't got nothing to cry about. Fucking hell, real man, Mr. Ruger, man. You feel me? Yo, well, growing up, you know what I'm saying? Growing, you 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 from the X? Everybody know that, right? Mm -hmm. Weeks Avenue. What was yeah. life? What was life growing up in the X, man? On Weeks Avenue, everyday hood shit or what? I mean, I grew up around a, a basically a predominantly Dominican Puerto Rican neighborhood. So all the niggas that I went to, all the Spanish niggas that I went to school with, eventually turned out to be plugs. It's Yo, like what? we went from playing baseball and Skelly together. I come home from jail, these niggas got all the bricks on the block. You feel what I'm saying? Right. So it's like my block was baby Broadway. I don't know if you ever heard of Broadway in Amsterdam. That's one of the main hubs of cocaine distribution in New York. Everybody know that. This ain't no me snitching or telling nigga if you wanna go buy bricks on coke, nigga, go to Amsterdam with Broadway. You feel me? Right. My block was baby Broadway, meaning 
that you didn't have to go to Amsterdam or Broadway. You could go to Weeks and buy a break, two breaks, 20 breaks. So I came home from jail like, oh shit, Julio, who I used to play stickball with, got 20 kilos? Give me one, nigga. So I came home into a, a ill ass environment. Like my whole block did a 360. Is like all the Spanish niggas was cool with us. And then next thing you know, they stopped. They supplying us with all the drugs. Wow. You feel me? So I never had a drop on my block. Like I could fuck up a half a key and then go see a nigga who I grew up with and go get another half. Like it was never no beef. It was like, damn, Ruby, you fucked that up. All right, cool. Here you go. Get back on your feet. So it was a never a drop. Like I was kind of like from a spoiled block. A million dollar block, any Bronx nigga tell you Weeks Avenue is a million dollar block. Niggas made a lot of money out that block, so I was fortunate to touch a lot of money, see a lot of money prior to my rap career. Mm. So I kind of came in spoiled. I kind of came in knowing what money is, knowing what real jewelry is. VVS is all that. Shit like that. Okay. So I, I knew the vibes before I got signed. Okay. So when I got signed, it was like, I kind of felt cheated. It was like, I was living better than a motherfucking street nigga, you feel me? Mm -hmm. But I knew I had to grind and, and put in the necessary work to build that type of money. So I did, and I grinded, and uh, you know, the rest is history. That's what's up, man. That's what's up, man. Shout out to Weeks Ave, man. Shout out to Weeks Ave, shout out to 240, shout out to all the niggas that's in the fast. My whole block got indicted. 48 man indictment uh, a month ago. 48 niggas that I went to school with, played stickball with, with the free lunch with is in the federal system right now. So that just goes to tell you that if I wasn't rapping, if God didn't bless me with a gift, if Duke the God didn't take the time to help me make the transition from a street nigga to an artist, I'd fuck around and be in the feds right now. So I ain't happy that I'm not the biggest rapper, but I'm damn sure blessed that I ain't sitting in the feds with a fucking great suit on. Mm. I got another opportunity to win. Real so. talk. That's a fact, man. Salute, salute, salute. Uh, Real, you you brought up Duke, Duke the God man. Y'all yeah. really, I see y'all on the gram all, all, all the time together, y'all. Uh -huh. Like you see him, you see you, you see you, you see him. Right. How's that love, man? Did that come out of some business shit or what, man? You know what I'm saying? Nah, it grew from a business ship, friendship to a, a brotherly love. It's my brother. I die for Duke. I do anything for Duke. Hmm. It's my brother. It's my mentor. I learned so much from Duke just by watching him and teaching him. See, certain people you can watch, you can learn by just watching them. Right. That don't mean that they teaching you. You just soaking up game. Right. They not telling you how to do it. You just watching how they do it. Duke is the type of person that you can watch how to do it and he'll tell you how to do it. Mm. Very humble. Made millions of dollars and don't you will never fucking know. You understand what I'm saying? That's how humble he is. So I actually this is actually my mentor. You feel what I'm saying? Like when I go into the matrix and I lose my mind and I start bugging out, this is my go to guy to bring me back. Like, yo, Ruby, you bugging. Ruby, you know this shit don't exist, nigga. Stick to the script, stay focused, and let's get to a bag. So this is actually my mentor slash brother slash business partner. Super dope. Shout out to Duke the God. Shout out to the bro, Duke the God. Man, is it, is it hard sometimes, you know what I'm saying, making that, transforma that transformation from a street nigga to an artist? Is it really hard? Or did you forget, like, yo, I'm, a, I'm no, an artist? it's real hard. I, I had to make the transition, and it was real, real hard because uh, I came home a street nigga. So I had to listen to all the rumors like, oh, Rugarell ain't, 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 ain't really down with Dipset. Ain't, they ain't giving no diplomat chain yet. Or, or Rugarell still living in the hood. Niggas don't actually understand that when you sign a deal, you got, your life doesn't automatically change overnight. Right. There's paperwork, there's process, there's checks that gotta get cut. So I had to listen to all the rumors from fake friends and suck ass niggas in the streets. All type of shit. So just being around seasoned niggas who've been in the game, and had to deal with that certain shit before. It's like, yo, Ruga, don't listen to that shit, man. You, you listening to niggas who, that's like joy and listening to somebody in the crowd yelling, boo, boo, from nosebleed seats. Right. Can Jordan really hear him? Not really. No. All right then. So I had to look at that analogy and say, you know what? Fuck these niggas in nosebleed seats yelling, boo. Let me finish playing this game. And once I stuck to that mentality, there was not one rumor out here that could affect me because I'm comfortable with my skin. Super dope, super dope. You know when um when you get in that 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 mental block and you like yo I'm finna write it, I'm finna write a rhyme to this uh -huh. beat or whatever. How what's your motherfucking process? Cause you have some of the hardest hit and punchlines that's realistic. Thank you. Now when I, when I say realistic, I mean 
I don't give a fuck if you black, white, yellow, green, Dominican, <laughs> Spanish, black. What city you from? You're going to relate to it. Right. You said one bar that had niggas finna start a fight I'll never forget. <laughs> now, you say, um, uh, and your own niggas don't acknowledge your G because you ain't want to go to war like Muhammad Ali. <laughs> that shit was so hard. Like, Thank you, bro. Do, 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 do it take you a, a lot of time to come up with shit like that or what? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Please don't tell me it took 15, 20 minutes. Less than that. But that's why I say it's God-given. You got people who are given talents, and you got people who are given gifts. Right. Fortunately, I was given a gift. Some people have talents. A talent you have to work on. You have to develop. Mm -hmm. If you don't develop the talent, you lose it. A gift is something you activate. You activate it, you don't activate it. If you activate it, you can do genius things. If you don't, then you become a regular person. So I realized that I was a genius, and if I don't activate my genius qualities, I will be reduced to a regular man. Mm. Mm. Alright, so how long it took to, 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 to drop that, to write that shit? Excuse me? How long it took to write to write that shit like that 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 bar or some like some of your hardest shit ever? How long did it take? That to shit write? just came natural. It just came from being from just just being God given. Damn. I can't sit here and say, oh, I sat here and I wrote this shit and uh, God given. Super dope. God given. How how would you describe or well, your, your style? Cause I can't even describe it. You know what I'm saying? You had to sum that shit up. I'm. I'm I'm the hardest I'm the, what would you say? What kind of style is it? Ain't well, a trap shit. Well, I went through evolution stages, so when I came home for jail, like I said, legendary. Legendary. Feel me? Mm-hmm. Legendary. I mean, how many times you seen the actor, and you wasn't familiar with the actor, and he had a dope-ass part in the movie, and then you said, damn, I never knew about this actor. Let me go watch all his old shit. Right. It's kind of like, me being able to put the best movie out, and once I put the best movie out, that's when everybody's gonna go back and study my old shit mm -hmm. when I knew I was a genius from the start. Mm -hmm. So, all I gotta do is work hard, create that propaganda to where everybody sees where I'm coming from, and then they're gonna go back to my old shit. Oh, this, yo, you remember this tape that Harrell put out? He said, yo, I see it all the time. You watch a new artist, Lil Uzi Vert, or Moneybag Yo, or a lot of these young niggas that just starting to rap, and they might catch a dope ass record. And then when you go to their SoundCloud or that Piff, these niggas had 20 fucking mixtapes prior to that. Yep. And then they go back and listen to the 20 mixtapes because the last one caught their attention. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's the type of stage we in with hip hop, man. Once you win, you can write the success book. Even if you don't, even if you have the keys to success, they ain't gonna listen until you win. As soon as you win, you can say, here's the success book of how I did it, and it'll be a bestseller. But niggas ain't gonna buy it until you win. That's crazy. Same, just for the same, like I saw somebody put this on IG, like, niggas don't believe you until you start winning like that. You know what I'm saying? It's the yeah. same shit. Same shit. Same shit. Same um, being that we talk about the, the, the new wave of hip hop, right? why isn't bars appreciated anymore? Like, it's not about bars no more. Like, Drugs. Okay. It's an opium epidemic. Okay. Just being right. Remember when Barbara Bush got on TV? Well, a lot of niggas might be too young for that, but Barbara Bush got on TV in 1983 and says, America, we have a crack academic problem. Every fucking channel stopped on TV, and she came on every fucking TV channel to pronounce that crack cocaine is an epidemic mm -hmm. in America. They just didn't announce it yet, but there's an opium epidemic in New York in America. So I say that to say that a lot of these niggas is on drugs. They on pills. They on lean. They don't want to think too hard. They want to dab. They want to... Yeah. If we can't make them do that, they don't want to hear it. Now, if a nigga got some type of intelligence and just don't want to be in that state of mind, then you got the J. Coles and the Kendrick Lamar niggas to listen to. Mm -hmm. And they don't want to listen to these type of niggas. So what do a street nigga do when he's tired of mumble rap he actually wants to listen to something conscious and something that can give him food for his soul. That's where I come in. I had to study the formula. How do I keep the attention of the young scamming niggas, the young drilling niggas, the young niggas who got no hope, the niggas who live in that home with welfare, no father, coming outside with their pistol, seeing how they're going to feed their family. How do I touch that demographic? Then how do I touch the young niggas who got nine to five jobs, don't want to scam, don't want to commit robberies, and just want to come home from work and listen to some dope ass music. 
And then what about the old school niggas who hate mumble rap, hate all this new shit, and just want to hear some boom bap hardcore street shit? You got to cater to all audiences from my perspective. So I could have said, yo, Ruga, put out a tape and just feed the street niggas. What my conscious niggas going to say to me? What? Because I'm a different type of nigga. I elevate it. You feel me? Niggas look at pop only for his hit him up against all lot of shit. But then you got to look at the conscious pop. And you understand what I'm saying? Like people ever, people, people ever look. So my thing is, I've ever looted. Name one time you sat in your house and played a fucking video game and after you ended it, you want to play it again. You want to trade that shit or sell it or get a new game, right? Right. I have it this game of gangsterism, all this fake lifestyle shit, shit that don't mean nothing, nothing that's tangible. Look at these packs. These shits is fly, oh, but we can't feed none of our family members with these shits. You feel me? Now, nah, pan the camera. Let them see the plaques. Let them see the, 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 uh, the accolades, the hard work. Yeah, this shit is cool. Yeah, this shit is dope to look at. But this shit can't feed my daughter or Duke daughter. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So, we approach the game with a different mindset, with a different hustle, man. And I advise you young niggas to do the same, man. Don't be DMing artists talking about, yo, can I get a feature? Yo, check the link in my bio. Nigga, turn the fuck up, nigga. If your man's is your man's and he love you, he will put everything that he has behind you. If you a real nigga, he will put everything behind you so you can win. How you think fucking Nelly won? Mm -hmm. All the lunatics had to sit back and say, you know what? They like you, Nelly, right? All right, cool. We're going to let you be the face of the group. And after you sell 10 million fucking records, come get us. And that's what the fuck he did. Wow. So all you niggas that's crews, but y'all all competing with each other, you're going nowhere. Shout out to A Boogie, shout out to High Bridge. These were some young niggas who blocked out everybody and only focused on their crew, only party with their crew, only shot and ate with their crew, went to the studio with their crew, and now these niggas is living in big mansions doing shows every week. Simple math. Love your niggas. Believe in who believe in you. Group up and take this shit by storm, man. Mm. That's the best shit I can tell you, young niggas, man. Every time I go on my DM, link in my bio, link in my, I don't want to look at some niggas in my bio, man. I really honestly don't. And you might have some hot shit. I want you to turn up and catch my attention instead of you telling me you hot. Mm. I want to turn on a social network, a, 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 a platform and see, wow, this little young nigga, fire. The age of niggas helping you get on is over, man. Unless you run into a real nigga who fuck with you and he'll take you under the wing and make you a part of his establishment, but nah, young niggas, get to it. The game done changed. Shout out to T. Greasley. You know what Kevin Lyles presented with him a plaque with? Not 200 million records house, 200 million streams. The game done changed, you young niggas. Get a hot song, get it streaming, and you can get stream checks. Pandora, Spotify, Tidal. You don't need nobody, nigga. Find a few niggas from your neighborhood, whether they're drug dealers, street niggas, some old school niggas with a sack. Come to him with a plan and let that nigga know to believe in you. Put some money behind you. And if he does, you can return his motherfucking profit and be your own boss. Mm. That's one. Independent rap. Independent rap. Independent. There's no reason why if you're a rapper, you got a thousand niggas scamming around you, but you can't find a cameraman or outfit for your video shoot. Wow. Every time right. I turn on Instagram, it's a thousand niggas counting money, wearing Margiela, doing this, but these are your so-called friends and you rap? So you telling me your scammer, fronting friends, can't put up three, four thousand for you to get an outfit and to get your video on Worldstar? and help your career so you can win and come back and get everybody else? If your niggas ain't doing that, those ain't your niggas. You think when Floyd Mayweather need help training niggas, a thousand niggas in that motherfucking gym. What you need, champ? You need me to carry the water? You need some towels? You need some extra gloves? Because all these niggas know when champ wins, they win. So if your niggas ain't on that mindset, 
Swerve them niggas and find a new route, man. Mm. I'm just giving up game, bro. I'm just giving up game. We see, man. We see. We see. Um, do you listen to some of the new hip hop? I listen to some of the new niggas. I like all the new, I like all the new Chicago niggas. So you fuck with Shirek? Sh yeah, I fuck with Shirek Kelly. Okay. I fuck with Herbo. I fuck with Bibby. I fuck with uh, there's a few other niggas that I don't know their names. Please don't kill me. But I know they records and them niggas is hard. Okay. You feel me? Okay. Uh, I fuck with I fuck with Vert. He got a few records. I fuck with uh, Kodak. Kodak is fire. Uh, a Boogie Don Q, of course. Dave East is dope, but I'm waiting for a record. You know what I'm saying? Definitely waiting for a record. Hot ass, hot ass underground artist without a record. Salute to him. Uh, Money Bag Yo, fire. Black Youngster, fire. Uh, PNB Rock, fire. Uh, it's another young nigga out of 305 that I see uh, uh, Rick Ross fucking with. I don't know if you're familiar with him. Little young Haitian nigga out of the projects. He got some pain music. Oh, for real? Okay. Uh, Meek Mill's album, new album is hot. I'm listening, man. That's like me being a basketball fan and I don't know who the fuck just got drafted. Mm. That's stupid. I gotta know who's hot. I gotta know who's putting out some new music. You feel me? Coming, coming, coming from the X, you know what I'm saying? Bronx, South Bronx, all the Bronx. A Boogie, Don Q, and fucking Cardi B right. got. The, not just the city, the world right. on fire. That boy, that y'all, all them. Like, how does that feel coming from that barrel? How does that feel? Like, yo, we winning. It feels tremendous. You know, it was a time where I was the only Bronx rapper in an all Harlem group when the Bronx was quiet. No disrespect to Fat Joe, but he just wasn't putting music out at that time. And I upheld the Bronx torch. And it was dope to see niggas like Fred the Godson, French Montana. And uh, all these new up and coming uh, Bronx acts doing the same. Mm -hmm. This shit is dope. This is where it started at. You feel what I'm saying? Right. I, I don't have to have a personal relationship with a nigga to like his grind, like his music, and, and like what he's doing for him and his niggas. So I salute the new Bronx movement. You feel me? My song, Hocus, Dice Peso, my little bro TV. You know what I mean? It's a bunch of young niggas that's coming up right now. Snoop De Niro, Bronx looking crazy right now. Oh. So. It's one artist I've been following for a minute from the X. His name Oom um P. Um, that nigga's Excuse me. Aya. Oom um P. Oh. Ooh, shout out the whole Oom Wade. That's oh my, my nigga. Oh, God. Oom um P is a fucking monster. Oh, how? That boy can rap his ass off. He got the swag. He got everything. It's just timing. I know niggas say that everything, say the same shit about me. Ruka got the whole package. Why he ain't winning yet? It's all about timing, man. The stars ain't alive. They ain't gonna have it. Well, yeah, shout out to Oom um P. Good's the animal, even though he is a battle rapper. Oh, you good. He's fire. If he ever decide to go the music rap out there, give you a dope ass nigga. But yeah, man, I salute to all the young niggas that's winning, man. But it's an independent rap game. That's what's winning. You know, the nigga, you know, Chance from the shot, that man got two Grammys over being independent. You know what I'm saying? And that nigga ain't even sell a digital CD. <laughs> Not, and that's crazy. So that just show you how the hip hop's at right now. It ain't about, it ain't about that, man. It's about, it's about believing in yourself, knowing the necessary channels, how to get your music out there, and playing plot, strategize, and bomb first like Pac said, nigga. Mm. You feel how me? you, um, uh, I, I gotta ask you this, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Shirek right, right now, mm -hmm. it's ridiculous on, on the murder, murder rate, you know what I'm saying? Hold but, on, I'll first, I would like to say a big fuck you and a suck a dick to Rahm Emanuel that's letting all my black brothers out there die and get killed like that. Use a piece of shit. You could open up community centers. You could open up after school programs. 200 fucking murders in one weekend? What the fuck is wrong with you, Brahm Emanuel? You cock sucking faggot. Mm. That's more people dying in Iraq. We have a fucking epidemic in Chicago, man. Fix that shit, you cock sucker. I just wanted to say that. Okay. Okay. We appreciate you, Ruger. We definitely do. Um, you you know the violence is ridiculous. It's on a whole nother level. You know what I'm saying? Uh, when when y'all hear shit like that coming from the big apple, you know what I'm saying? Right. What what do y'all think? Like what the fuck is going on over there? Like you know, do that make niggas not want to do shows or what? I mean, niggas who intimidated, niggas who's not used to that type of violence. And don't get me wrong, that's that violence is way different than what's going on in New York. And I was actually blessed to go to Chicago a few years ago. My man Gustavo was working with Young Chop, 
Yeah, the producer. Yeah, and uh, Lil Reeson was shooting a video out there and I got invited. So I had one out there and you know, this is way before uh, Chief Keith record took off, right? Right. So I'm out in the middle of the projects, I'm in the low end and shit. 66 and low, 65. That's a fact, shout out low to life. 66 and low, yeah. no life or no life, you know what I'm saying? So I'm in the low, and them niggas out there with 30s on them, man, I ain't seen so many fucking 30s in my life, man. But it was love, niggas like, hey, shit, that's Ruger. Get the fuck out of here, niggas got Ruger in the low. Hey, man, let me go get my mama so she can take a picture with him. And this nigga, and, 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 and as he went to go get his mama, my nigga who got me out there like, yo, Ruger, man, Shorty got three bodies under his belt, man. That little nigga hit him, man. If he gonna get his mama to take a picture with you, man, that nigga got some love for you. I'm like, wow. So the nigga went down his mama. She knew who I was. She seen Killer Season. I took a picture with his mother. I took a picture with his aunt. They forced me to come in the house and get something to eat. I went in the house and got something. Oh, you went in the crib? I went in the crib, nigga. Man. I went in the crib. You know, you was in the heart of Inglewood. Yeah, I went in the crib, everything. Now listen, this is for professional use only. I'm not sitting here and saying that I was mighty tough Superman nigga. I, I knew where the fuck I was at. I knew what was going on. But when you in the jungle, if the lion says fear, what does he do? He attacks. Mm -hmm. I wasn't scared, nigga. I pulled up in the crib. His mother made me something to eat. We took pictures. I came downstairs. I chilled in the low the whole night. And mind you, I'm around five niggas who got 30s on them. You count that. That's 30, 60, 90, 120, <laughs> 150. damn near 150 bullets, man. That can fucking take a fucking cop on a shootout for an hour, nigga. 150 bullets. So I'm like, damn, all these young niggas around me with 30s. And it looked hopeless because it's like, if it wasn't rap or sports, these niggas wasn't making it out, man. Mm -mm. It was like they're destined to fucking die if there's no type of no type of structure or, or anything to implement for these young niggas to, to, to win. And I'm standing out there and a the nigga like, yo, Ruger, man, you ever heard a 30 go off? I'm like, nah. The nigga pulled out the 30 and let the whole 30 what? go off. Police response, an hour later. Nigga, you let two shots off in New York. They're there in two minutes, nigga. You feel me? Right. A nigga let a whole 30 off. The police response was an hour. That just goes to show me that police let the niggas kill each other, mm -hmm. then just come in and pick up the bodies and do the police work. All the time. Racial shit. All the time. So me seeing that and being conscious was just heartbroken, man. I'm like, damn, man, Chicago, man. I feel for that city. And it's just a bunch of young brothers that's misguided. Ain't no older niggas out there giving them niggas the vibes. I, they don't even want to hear the young older niggas. Nah, it's not. You know, we it's in a whole I, new I area. know Chicago uh, 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 gang protocol. You just can't call yourself a chief, nigga. You feel me? Mm -hmm. You got to put some work in to call yourself a chief, nigga. Right. Am I lying? No. You from Chicago? Yeah, you telling me. Can a nigga chief. just call himself a chief? Hell no. We All right then. Yeah. So you got niggas calling themselves self-proclaimed chiefs. No disrespect to Chief Keith. Love Sosa. But I'm just saying he's not the only nigga that's doing it. It's like there's no protocol to what Larry Hoover and the other big homies, Jeff Fort, done laid down. These niggas just went totally disaccordant to what the big homies done laid down, and it became the city of gods. It's like, fuck these old niggas, man. We claiming what they started, but we doing it our own way. Everybody but none, like they ain't listening to shit. It's, and, it's, and this is worldwide. This is LA. Yep. These young niggas ain't listening to no big homies, nigga. Fuck your big, fuck you, nigga. I'm out here. I'm out here slinging. I'm out here getting shot at every day. Mm -hmm. Big homie, what? Nigga, get the fuck out of here. And that's going around worldwide. So you got a generation of young niggas who don't want to listen, who think they their own boss, and that's just spell self-destruction. Yeah. And that's why I'm trying to lead these young niggas on some One Nation shit, man. You feel me? That's Give super dope. Blood, Crip, Vice Lord, Latin King, MS-13, give a fuck what game you play, nigga. You're my brother. I love you. Let's get some money together. Speak, speak, since, since, since we on there, you talked about a little about the gang shit. You know, it's a lot of, I've been doing a lot of interviews out the last couple of months. It's a lot of Chicago gangs out here, unless they've been out here. Like, I've run across some GDs. And nah, it's a lot of groupies. It's a lot of niggas uh, who okay. listen to the music. Okay. 
and then they just start their own chapter without even getting approval from Chicago. Okay. A lot of those weird type of niggas. Okay. I'm, I'm gang affiliated, so it might already know if you want to start a chapter, you got to get approval from the city where it started from. Right. Correct? Right. Fact. Niggas just can't come out here and say he's BD and he's not checking in with nobody from Chicago. Correct? Right. So it's a lot of niggas out here who just starting their own chapters, calling themselves whatever the fuck they want. Do you really <coughs> respect that? Huh? Do you respect that? Nah, I don't, but I don't get involved. Okay. You know what I mean? I kind of, I, I, like I told you, I played that video game already. Okay. It's on the shelf. You're on another level? Yeah. You're on another level. If I was playing that video game, then I'd be out here pressing niggas. Yo, who you ain't affiliated? that? I ain't that video game already. Fuck that. Yeah. We on some money shit. That's a fact. That's it, that's all. That's it, that's all. What's, it's 2017, summer 2017. What's up? Do you know the streets want to know? Yeah. The streets want to know. Like, what's up? How you, sure. how you coming? How you want to do that? Nah, what y'all do been cooking, man. It took me two years to put this digital scale together, man. This mumble rap shit threw me off, man. I'm watching real street niggas in the club. We got three bodies dancing the motherfucking Little Yachty records. No <laughs> disrespect to Little Yachty. I love him. He's very talented. And I love to see black niggas get money. But that just never was the temperature. You mm. feel me? So I just want to restore the temperature back and still feed the young niggas with what they like. You gotta give the people what they want. Exactly, man. Hove won his own world on 444. That shit went over these young niggas' ass. Yo. Huh? Not saying he ain't giving good game, but you're not coming to the people as the people. These young niggas don't want to hear that shit. Mm -mm. That same, that same week I see, you know how many more niggas I've seen holding the money up to their ear? Yeah, niggas like, nigga. What the? F yeah. I'm gonna this like, nigga, if you was 30 years younger, this is what you be doing, nigga. Exactly, exactly. If you was 30 years younger, nigga, and Rockefeller cut you a hundred million dollars, check your ass, you probably be holding it to your mother, holding it to your ear like this, nigga. Mm -hmm. So, but I get it though. I, I I get the growth, I get the development, but just save that shit for. Uh, let Kendrick Lamar say that shit, man. That shit don't seem cool coming from you. Right. Okay. You know what I mean, a nigga who made, built his empires off of fucking cocaine can't tell me about good credit, man. I'm sorry. Wow. I'm sorry. Thanks. Thanks. I'd rather hear it from a nigga who never touched cocaine. Mm. Okay. Okay. Alright. Just right. being real. Salute the whole man. Everything he's doing. No disrespect. I'm just speaking my mind. You said let's talk real, right? Let's talk real. Alright. Real talk. I talk back. You know? Um. So, any, any projected date for the mixtape? Uh, we gearing for another two week, two week release. Nah, we ain't got no tentative date because I believe tentative dates is corny. Niggas just like to go online and see, oh shit, this nigga got some new shit out. The surprise factor is way bigger than building up a date. Building up a date is kind of like way outdated right now. Okay. You got Beyonce, you got Kiss, you got all type of artists that's just dropping a project without announcing it and becoming successful. Yeah, that's crazy. Because that means people are, you're in demand. And you don't need no record company to spend you. money out of your fucking budget to promote you. Mm. That's all that shit is. Oh, uh, Hell Rell's album dropping August 19th. That ad just cost $20,000 out of my fucking bank account, out of my budget. I don't need you to promote. My fans love me. When I drop, they're going to buy it. Yeah. So that's what a lot of artists are doing. When you don't see them promoting it, they're smart. They're not letting the record company take that money out their budget to promote them when they're hot anyway and when they drop niggas is going jack it. Mm-hmm. Feel me? Man, if, if you Did smoke... you hear any promotion for 21 Savage album? No. 75,000 this first week. Did you see any posters and commercials talking about 21 dropping? No. All right then. 21, I mean 75,000 records this first week, my nigga. It's crazy. It's crazy. So. One, 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 one more question, man. Will we ever, you know we talk about the mixtape, in the near future, can we ever expect a, a classic album like For the Hell of It? Of course. That shit was remarkable. Of oh. Of course. I'm working on that as we speak. I just wanted to feed the streets first just to show them that I'm working. I ain't forget about them. So after I feed the streets, I'm definitely going to go back into production working on my new project. The new project is retarded. What, what was your favorite, even though it's, it's, it's old, but it's a classic, what was your favorite track on For the Hell of It? My favorite track on For the Hell of It was uh, Streets Gonna Love Me. Streets Don't Love Me. Get flying wild right around in the drop all day, or get money just chilling on, on the block, block all day. day. Yeah, yeah, it's funny that I love it. Yeah, oh man. Yeah, that was it. It's kind of like a concept type song, but yeah, that was the joint I was fucking with. Yeah.
Hey, real. And Duke helped me put that whole album together. Yeah, for real? Yeah, Beat Selection. Me and Duke flew out to Miami. We went to go see, uh, who was that producer named Duke? Develop. He had produced okay. uh, Lil Wayne. He was on fire at the time. And, uh, Duke just had opened up my budget, so we had flew out to Miami and got some beats from him. And uh, he just pretty much helped me put the whole project together, the drill feature, all that shit. That shit was a real classical album. Classic. And I, and I consider that my only album. A lot of projects that I put out, I don't really consider that an album, a studio album. Those were just deals that I made and I have music laying around. But my next project is my finding solo project. And this shit is going to be a movie, my nigga. Movie. Mm. Like Michael Jackson thriller type shit. Wow. Can't wait, man. We looking for it. Any, any title right now or not? Nah, it's untitled. Okay, okay. Just know it's coming, man. Just know it's coming. Hey, bro, let's let, let's let the people know where they can follow you on these social sites, you know? Or well, they can follow me on Instagram, The Real Hell Real. Same thing on Twitter, The Real Hell Real. I ain't got on Facebook. Catch me in traffic. <laughs> That's what's up, my nigga, man. Shout out to Zach TV one time. Shout out Zach TV. Certified real nigga. Pull up on you. Get you good interviews. Certified. Certified. Cause I said it. Shout out the whole Chicago. Zach TV, you already know what it is. Ruler Ruler the head shoe. Dip set. Yeah. I give you a live show, man. Yeah, give me some shit, man. Cause G -O -D, I G -O -D, wanna hear some shit. G-O-D, G-O-D. Chase, B-O-A. I'm laughing at the bank. Laughing at the bank. Laughing at the bank. T-T-T, credit. Oh, man. Play that last joint you was about to play, dude. You got some shit, man. Nah, I've just been working, man. I've been going for like two years, so I had to find the formula. Find the sauce. G-O-D, G-O-D, G-O-D. Cut up. My bitch shit, check me out. Check me out. Uh, I'm in the new bench, trying to take a nigga wife. You meet the right Mexican, he can change your life. <coughs> Play Father by the Fat. And I'm going to show where we really going. Got it on your desktop. You heard? I gotta show, I gotta show the shot what we doing, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the whole shot. Shout out to the LAP boys. You know what I mean? Shout out to Geek Cloner. Oh shit, Fashion Geek. Yeah, yeah man. That's my niggas. Shout out my nigga Mike Mike. Shout out my nigga Duke. Shout out the whole West Side, South Side. My niggas Jojo Capone. What up, nigga? It's my man. My man. Big homie Jojo. Feel me? We have you on that south side, man. Shout out to the whole shop. Yo, I like that, that, that plate right here. You should have brought me some Howard's chicken, nigga. Oh, shit, with mouth sauce? With some mouth sauce. You should have brought me some Howard's chicken. You should have brought that shit on the plane. Oh, shit. Yeah, we got to get Ruger back out there, man. Bring Duke with you, man. Nah, I'm bringing Duke, man. We're going to walk through the whole low end, man. We got to come to the Wild Hunters, man. We're coming to the Wild Hunters, too. Shout out to the Wild Hunters. I fuck with the Wild Hunters. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Big salute to the motherfucker Wild Hunters. My nigga. Those my guys. Every time I out there, them niggas make sure I'm certified. That's what's up, man. That's a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. Let's get these niggas followed by the feds real quick, though, dude. You heard? It's on the desktop. So my nigga Zach can see where I'm going with this. We're just going to give him one verse, a sneak peek, so niggas can know where we're going with this. You heard, Dookie? Look at these facts, man. This shit is crazy. Diplomatic community. We be followed by the feds. Might be a funny mother shooter. Let it put fire up in your head. We be followed by the feds. We be followed by the feds. We be attacked by the feds. We be attacked by the feds. Just shot a nigga last night. In for his head, but I missed it. He in a hospital right now. I should go pay his ass a visit. Tell him if he snitched, then he die. We're ball names if they leave by. Sell rock king, got a street mind. Take your bitch off a piece. I keep a lawyer or retainer, uh -huh. hit the dope with the trainer uh -huh. Girl, your stomach flat as hell, keep on wearing that waist trainer yeah. Keep ties to the gang bangers, ain't talking money, see you later uh -huh. Ain't sucking dick, she ain't fucking, that's when I turn into a stranger Keep my hand on the back, I can't let go, nigga Moving like 97 sure. welcome to death row, nigga yeah. Need y'all to go fund me a check, like I'm prep flow, nigga I Spread the word, spread the word, I got the best blow, nigga Best blow, yeah. nigga. Follow by the feds we being followed by the feds. Don't take none of these blocks. Get on the highway instead. We being followed by the feds. We being followed by the feds.
Prince might recruit a new shooter. Let him put five up in your hand. We being followed by the fence. We being followed by the fence. We being tapped by the fence. We being tapped by the fence. We being followed by the fence. We being followed by the fence. We being tapped by the fence. We being tapped by the fence. The feds, they watching, lurking, clocking my body. Like how we got the Audi and now we got the body. Then I got the crib. What's up with some, 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 some bars, man? Some old bars. Give me some acapella shit, you know. Some of that hell real, that ruga ruga. What you got for me, man? Oh, Let me get man. some shit, man. I don't give a fuck <laughs> if it's some mixtape shit out. What you got, man? Give me you. What's up, man? That's how you feel, man. Attention all causes to kill on the loose. That's how you feel. Yeah, what's. Yeah. Mm. We, yeah, this is legendary. We the mafia, nigga. God came to me in a dream, say nothing stopping you, nigga. Mm. Depends what car I'm in, I might switch up my plates. Filet me young or ribeye, I might switch my steak. Might buy a new crib, then switch my steak. But soon as I move in, I'm about in my moving room. Keep guns everywhere, that's real nigga rules. And I ain't worrying about them haters, we'll get to them niggas soon. Take a bad bitch, put a Chanel purse on her arm. Might pay her rent, fuck her brains out, then I'm gone. Next time that hoe see me, it might be on TV. Diamonds looking 3D, flew in fresh from Tahiti. And I don't think you understand that criteria. 20 keys of dope getting shit from Nigeria. Kill one of mine, I'ma kill five of yours. Went from roaches in the cereal, nigga, to marble floor. Mmm. <laughs> Hell real. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> so you, that shit will never, that sh the, the bars will never leave. Nah, man. that shit is forever, ever, ever, man. Damn, you know that's what I'm saying? That's what we remember. You want more? Yeah, what the fuck? Don't stop. Huh? Just, yeah. When you make it, they be like, damn, I knew he could shine. Bad bitches like, damn, I always knew he was fine. Fuck, nigga, you a waste of some studio time. Got the engineer mad at you, ready to throw a jab at you. Pockets filthy, not guilty. Boy, I beat them charges. Closet looking like a nigga Rob Neiman Marcus. Mm. A bird off good, man. I'm good, man. Need nothing from nobody. Let's make that clear. Take the 40 out, back it out, squeeze that there. Yeah, eat at the same restaurants as John Gotti did. Tell her way to sit me right where John Gotti used to sit. You ain't used to shit. Man, I'm used to bricks getting cooked, broken down, sold on the strip. You never tell on the nigga if he sold him some shit. You go to the feds, do your fucking time like a man. Wear that gray sweatsuit until we see you again. If you happen to get life, we never see you again. We gonna help raise your son, nigga, till he is a man. Damn, you broke, so you dissed us? That only leads to mistrust. One more flip, see Iviani get my wrist bust. Mm. Two more flips, <laughs> the Billy truck, we some rich fucks. Sneakers made in Italy, coke came from El Salvador, pay to beat us fly. Why you think I spent thousands for? And these bitches love it, who the fuck you think I'm styling for? We kidnap and kill niggas. You can't run up the tab, get mad when they bring you the bill, nigga. Or be a fag and try to pass as a real nigga. I'm on to you lames. Take every single chain up off of you lames. Something wrong with you lames. Thought I was off, I was on the whole time. Your money was, my money was right, yours was wrong a long time. Mm. Million dollar dope block niggas with long lines, did you scare nigga? Oh my god. Cause you asked for it. My nigga, appreciate it. You gotta give what the sheets for the ass. That's what's up my nigga. But uh, did you scale on the way? You know what I'm saying? Executive produced by the big homie Duke the God. Do productions, top gunners, you niggas so, know the vibes. We all got the same tattoo. We all inked up. It's no personal feelings. But we over here chasing the sack. They over there chasing the sack. And God bless everybody, bro. You feel me? Dipset for life. Yeah, it's for life. That shit is a legacy. This is a legacy that can't be destroyed. Okay. Mark down here. You still talk to JL? Oh, I haven't spoken to JL in a few months, but it's not personal. It's all out. Okay. Jam, Cam. 
the gym, we hit each other online, comments, Cam, speak to each other through mutual people. But it's all love. This is Cam Cousin right here. I want to go to Cam's studio right now. I can't. So, but we on our own time. It was like, why go to somebody else's house if I was as dirty? Mm-hmm. That's what it is. Yeah, here cleaning. <laughs> okay. I'm scrubbing the floors, dupe, mopping the motherfucking floors, and we, I'm cleaning the windows like we ain't here cleaning. Okay. You know what I'm saying? We on the construction. I can't come to another nigga construction site if I got shit to build. Real tough. So, power, love, peace, and blessings to all my brothers. All my niggas I made millions with, you know what it is, you know the vibes. Oh, yeah, yeah. What's the best burger for the bitches? For out of town and come to New York, what's the best burger for the bitches? Brooklyn? Manhattan. Because you got Harlem bitches and then you got Dyke All the Dominican mommies. Them fire, they fire? Fire. Fat asses. They shits look like they got butt shots, but they didn't. <laughs> Shit. Them okay. bitches fire. Okay. The heights, though. You want to come to New York, come see some bad Spanish mommies. Tell them they can take you to Washington Heights and back. Okay. That's what's up, my nigga. Look.